In Escape from Tarkov, the PMC is your main character, the character which the game is built around to get progression. But what if you didn't have access to your PMC right away? What if the only way to unlock your PMC was to build your account through a scav first? Well, that is what the series is all about. Creating a successful PMC using only scavs. I've come up with three specific goals in mind and how exactly we could run a scav only account to build up for a PMC. Gather all items that are found in raid needed to turn in for the tasks, have enough money and gear to sustain a PMC for the long run, and allow ease to upgrade for everything involving the hideout. To do this, it would take time and a lot of effort. The biggest hurdle we'll have to overcome during this series is the fact that scab timers are 25 minutes after each raid. So we'll have to focus on each raid to achieve our goals and create an account to sustain a PMC for the long run. So join me, ladies and gentlemen, as we embark on our adventures. Are you ready? Go to the backside of the mall and traverse it through on the backside. And then what we can do is we can also go in, try to look at like a bigger backpack and also a bigger rig. But right now we got, well, we got, at least we got a nice rig. We need a bigger backpack. Question is, can we find a bigger backpack? Oh, we got a dead scab. Check out what he's got. And keep in mind too, like the big thing about this 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 series is not just like items that we're gonna be selling and whatnot. Like the Ushanka is gonna be used for a quest online, so we're gonna make sure that we actually grab that as well. Somebody's doing a bunch of killing. There's a ton of dead scabs down here. Although he could have also ran. Do you have a bigger backpack? You don't even have a backpack. You take the gun though. And you have a grenade too. Make them use actually. We'll take your armor as well. You have the same backpack as me. And a knife that sells for more money, so I will take that. I think the other challenge too is we don't have Jaeger, so Jaeger's not gonna get not gonna be anything sold to him as well. Which is that should be fine. We should be able to collect enough items throughout this series that when it comes to working on the PMC, there will be enough loot anyway, like left over, that we can be used to be sold to Jaeger. Or we just worry about having enough money that we could just do that too, just buy stuff from you and instead of having to sell it to him. That's also partial to go to make sure we make as much money as possible. So we'll do that you know, as much as we can. And of course, we want to make sure we're getting as much XP as possible to get. I'm curious to see how much the skills we can level up because a lot of people don't realize there are skills with a scab and also your overall with your scab. So let's see what we can make happen with these guys. It also keeps the track of our, of our loot, how much like it's actually tallying out, which is really cool. Because we want to get as many items as possible to sell. So we have to get well, a lot of things sold. So pretty much grabbing everything, even if it doesn't sell for a ton. At least we know it will sell for some money. And we don't want to leave like empty-handed. So even though I'm not grabbing like pliers and like the construction tape, majority stuff will all be picked up. Because it has to be. For the future. And of course, when we get scat boxes, we'll be filling it up with partially with items like this, like the duct tape and whatnot, and they'll be placed inside of the containers for later on when we start working on the hideout. Because the hideout is also going to be on a task list as well. And medical and all those other things pretty much have our player ready to go for anything when it comes to leveling up the account. Still debating because I know Rip Stop and whatnot's gonna become useful later, and it also is technically used for a task and whatnot. So we may actually end up grabbing that. I expect us to have a lot of scab junk boxes by the end of this series. Because we're gonna be saving up a ton of different items and we're gonna need a lot of room. Considering we're not gonna be doing like a live to scab and then PMC, live to scab PMC, you know, it's all gonna be scab all day long. So I need to make sure that I've got everything basically be able to be put away in some in some capacity.
The other thing too I gotta keep in mind is that I'm going to also need to make sure that on the other flip side is that I can't really work on the the, the traders themselves because they need to have levels and whatnot. So if I can do like a turn in task, then we'll also be doing that as well. When I say turn in task means like if it's a daily that I can work on. Any daily I can complete with like say like a trade items, like take this item and trade it, then I'm gonna do it. And then it will level up the PMC slowly with that. But over time it will add up. And we are getting a lot of nice items for money at the beginning of this. I would gander to say by the end of this episode, we'll probably have our first scout box. And that's when everything's gonna really start shooting up. Because we're gonna be grabbing as many items as we possibly can to fill up the, the fill up the box and then continuously move on. And once the first box is filled, we move on to the next one. Yeah, we're friends. We're friends, Scav. There's gotta be a player or a Scav that's dead that has a bigger backpack. If not, we'll have to come back. The other thing, too, I have to keep in mind with these these runs is that I only have a limited amount of time to do them. And I also have the very long period of time that I have to wait. Because we don't have the upgraded... We don't have the upgraded intelligence center. So it's going to take us longer to get back into raids for Scavs. Which is completely fine. But we also have to just keep that in mind when we're doing stuff. I'm only seeing a, a lot of live scabs, not a lot of dead scabs just yet. Unfortunate for sure, but we're going to make it work. Oh, someone dropped a hammer, so they've already gone through these. We've got remaining 12 minutes, so I don't want to waste all the time. I want to make sure we're getting all the loot we can possibly get. That's going to be good. Also, on top of things, I need to make sure I'm working on my metabolism and whatnot, because when we run these scabs, we want to be able to keep moving as long as we can throughout them, even if it takes us down to the last minute. Possibly a dangerous option I'm going here, but I'm going to go check the tech spawns and see if there's a chance that someone may have left stuff. Because we've had many times where we find ourselves like, you know, a GPU, we find uh, a Tetris. So stuff like that I want to definitely be grabbing. I'm not going to be selling GPUs, I can tell you that. At least the first three, because I'm going to need those for the upgrades. That'll come in handy. All right, Techlight was kind of a bust. Maybe Texo will have something for us. Nothing there. This looks like this has all been looted. I right, will check Rasmussen and then after we check out Rasmussen, I'm gonna go over to Ollie for the front sex. We actually didn't check this side. And then we'll most likely start heading out of the mall. Hit up some of the stashes probably. I don't know if, we're not gonna keep the wrench because wrenches don't sell for very much. Neither do like the duct tape or whatnot, but I am slowly starting to grab the items to fill up the to fill up the box. Like I said, stuff like this, people just leave behind. I think we're okay. We just have. Well, actually, we're completely full. We didn't find a bigger backpack. Although, when we go over to Ollie, we may end up finding somebody. So, I will go do a little bit of searching over there for a dead player or even a dead scav. Now, is there anything over here first? We spotted something dead over here. Another bigger backpack for me? Oh, you don't. You have the sling, which is even worse. But they will see if you have anything good. But you don't. It saddens me. 
We may not have the opportunity for the first ray for a bigger backpack, but hey, that is part of the series. We're not always going to find the best loot. Definitely not better than what we have. And then once again, not better than what we have. But you may have some stuff that I may want. I will take the water because I need to work on that metabolism. So please, I'll take that. Now, backpack stacking did come to mind when it comes to the series, but right now with the bigger items that we have, it's not going to work out the best for the stacking. So we will worry about that once we get a scab with a bigger backpack. Because at that point, we can start stacking 2 by 2s and more fuel. As much as I want to grab that, actually, we are going to grab that. Changing up on, on the fly. Because I can take the bigger one, even though I need the Yushanka later. We'll find about a million of those Yushankas. Keep the armor because we're going to sell the armor, of course. And then anything that's going to be a bigger, bigger ticket item armor, we'll end up keeping as well. We're not going to be selling everything in the series, but if we find stuff like gazelles and whatnot, we'll obviously be saving that because that'll make us some pretty good progress, especially throughout the early days of the account. We all know the struggles of that, trying to find armor that's decently going to keep us alive. Especially me. I know that too. That's all we're really going to get out of the mall that I believe we have time for. So we're going to go outside. See if there's any chance there is another dead scab that we could have missed when we were over there. And then we will also get out. It was time to sell off the items and get prepared for the next one. Because, well, 36 minutes we'll have to wait for the next round. Hey, okay. Eh, not a good one. I did see a body in the ramp there, but I am going to go check for any weapon parts as well. Because not only does this include, you know, random loot and also medical supplies, we're also going to be keeping an eye out for any possible type of weapons that we want to hold on to. And also just weapon parts, because you know, later on we're going to need to build our own weapons. And we might as well have the parts instead of having to spend a ton of rubles to end up, you know, buying them over the, the flea market. Do you happen to have a bigger backpack that I didn't see before? I don't even think you have a backpack. You definitely do not have a backpack. However, you have a couple things that are definitely going to come into use later. We can repair that pistol and turn it in when it comes to the other tasks. You also have 3M body armor. We'll take you as well, because that will become very useful, and I'll show it to your task item. That will definitely do us for the time being. And we got 5 minutes left in the raid, which I don't usually want to leave 5 minutes. If we do interchange or we do maps with food, what I'll probably end up doing is spend a little bit of time working on the metab metabolism skill because we are looking like we're going to need to get that up and a bunch of other skills as well. The other thing is we can't really look at the skills once we get out of the raid, so we have to focus on them while we're in raid and see how we're doing on our progress. What a bad run for us on interchange whatsoever. I'm very happy about that. Good little start there, and for sure we're going to be we're going to be looking good for the future. Now I have one goal that I thought about in between the raids and this selling period and that is let's go for the scout box i figured why not we might as well get this guy and have a ton of space and i think we can actually accomplish that in episode one so we're going to attempt to collect as many items as possible sell a bunch of items and of course obtain the scav junk box and set up the future for us it's going to take a moment to do but we got this so let's go for it shall we the other thing about this series is I definitely want to make sure that I'm not going to the same map over and over and over. Because there's no reason to do that, really. I mean, we're going on a scab, so we, we can pretty much just explore anywhere we really want to go. So, my plan is to basically not go to the same map over and over and over. If I get, like, a sniper rifle with an actual scope, we'll go kill some rogues. You know, we didn't get a scope this time, so I figured, let's head over to customs, maybe get something good. And we got a decent amount of space, too. No medical, though, but we can, we can try to find some of that. And of course, it's raining. Because who doesn't love a little bit of rain, right? I do want to see if there's any medical. So we're gonna go we're gonna go over there and check that first. Did I just hear somebody walk past me? I swear I just heard running. Could have been me though. Could have just heard myself. While well, we're making our way that way, let's just see what kind of loot we can get. I think this rain's messing me more than I thought. 
Because it definitely sounds like so near me. But I don't think there actually is. Alright, what do we got? Ibuprofen, that's good. Anything else? I'll even take like a car med kit. Or an AI too. I'll take that too. Whatever you can give me, I'll take. Bandages, okay. We can drop the other one. And we got somebody dead over here. How much am I going to hate myself with these headphones? We'll see. There's a high chance I will not like that. They are very loud, but hey. At least we'll be able to hear players a lot easier. Nothing there. We'll take this, just because I can carry extra stuff in it. We got some shooting in the far distance. Looting time. I don't fear me hearing a player from here in. Definitely hearing somebody. Could just be another scab upstairs. It sounded like a scab, at least that was talking. Just take everything. Even if we don't take it, we'll just loot it for the XP. Some of the stuff actually may be really good for us, but again, we'll assess that towards the end. And every time we lose something, we'll just kind of be like, hey, do we really need this or do we just want to toss this? that take that I'll take it for now but we'll probably end up dropping it what else we got inside of here obviously hope for some keys if I get some keys that'd be really helpful and of course if we get keys that are like right on the map too we'll be uh, opening up the doors so why not Let's see what kind of cool stuff we can come up with Search this guy here. No, nothing. The scoop that we sold, we I don't know if there is a play here or not, but it it definitely sounded like there was. PRS. It looks like PRS is on the menu for like ninety percent of the time. Top. We got no intel. Okay. Any medical. Need something to survive for a little bit. Any morphine? I'm gonna guess not. I guess it's all been taken. It seems to have all been looted. Well, I tell you, if we were looking for P uh, PRS ammo, we definitely have a ton of it. Pretty much supplied to the end of days. Looks clear. Alright, let's go over to the fortress, see what we can find. is it has been a long time since I, i've been fighting like any of the ai scav for bosses and whatnot i wonder if you actually get the penalty for killing them because obviously like they shoot at you right away so i'm wondering if there is going to be that problem that we're going to run into I need to grab that right there that's going to be a quest item for later nothing we checked that already did i check this no i did not so I'll be very curious on that. And we have a gun right off the bat. All right. Because if you don't get the scav penalty for it, then definitely we're going to try to go kill the, the bosses as well. I know you don't get any penalties for killing rogues, which is really nice. Swap that out because it's worth more money. What you got for us? Ooh, you got, you got medical force. All right, we're sitting pretty. I mean, you got armor too, but it's a rig, so I don't want to take that. Nothing else. Eh, we'll take it for the heavy bleed, though. 
There's always a chance we get hit with something that's going to make us heavy bleed, so we'll take it. Well, there is a shotgun. A lot of dead scabs. So I want to add a little bit of a fun time over here. And a dead player, too. PS ammo. Oh, you have a key. Is that the unknown key? I mean, we might as well take it. Ooh, that's a sniper rifle. Oh, we'll take the scope for now. Sound like a scab. All right, it's a player scab. Anything quickly on your body that I want? Yeah, the original idea was take, was going to be taking that um, was taking that Mosin sniper, but I'm gonna stick with what we got. Ooh, okay. I need to hit more of these technology boxes up. Get that money. Some good items in there. We go check the the tree as well. See if anything's on the giving tree. Oh, finally, the rain's stopping. Very nice, very nice. We're going to need a million hoses, which is good. We'll just take everything for the time being. Now, I did opt to go with the EOD edition versus going with a standard edition account for this this challenge. Because I figured, might as well. We're trying to collect and get a, an account basically good to go for a very long time. So going with the EOD made more sense. So I don't really need to worry about upgrading the stash, obviously. There's nothing going to be involved with that. All we're going to be focusing on is just having a good time and just killing things. It's just a scab. We're good. Armor? There we go. All right, cool. We got some armor. Nothing under the giving tree. So I'm guessing the person probably already looted everything. Go check over here. We have a lot of free space, though. It gives us a lot of extra time on this map. And there's a good amount of places to loot as well. Is there any dead scabs, though? That's some okay ammo. I lied. It's not good ammo at all. I almost look like AP AP6 for a minute. Or APM. Not AP, not AP6. APM. Is there going to be any food in the truck? I will take it if there is. Oh, there is. There's sprats. Very nice. Water's looking okay. I don't want to take the sprats just yet because if I take them now, then... We are going to be uh, using up a lot of our, a lot of our water up. So any other medical down here? Oh, okay. There's an eye pack. I'll actually drop that and use the eye pack instead, just because it takes up less space. Less space, which means more loot. Nothing in the back here. Give us all the good stuff. We want everything you got for us, Sarko. That'll do. That'll make some okay money. Zippo, pineapple juice, light bulb. Okay, I can eat the sprats at least. Where to go next? Thinking, we continue to the next warehouse, loot around the back side of that, and then we'll just keep traversing around. Again, I gotta keep an eye out for the extra points. I gotta go. Got the military base CP, got the trailer park shack, and then we got the scab checkpoint. I 
I haven't heard a lot of the like, explosions, so I'm guessing there's nobody over at the gas station. So we're not going to worry about that. Did they leave us anything? Well, they left us a battery. Okay, that's 10,000 right there. I don't expect like, the craziest amount of loot from, from this map, but it's always worth checking. I always feel like you can get like the most random loot in some t inside some of these like duffel bags and different crates. I know some people have gotten lucky this way with finding like a Lettuce inside of a duffel bag, which is pretty nuts. We got a gun here. Um, uh, no, it's not better than what we got. We'll take this. Is there anything else I could attach to that? No, there is not. Although I did realize that if we would have taken the Moza, we had an attachment for it. <laughs> not a big deal. There are some weapons I will keep though, because I will when you keep an attachment and whatnot. I can obviously just attach different um, attachments to guns that we can hold on to as well. So that is some also to keep in mind when we're doing all this looting. Okay, we are close to our extract. We got the scat checkpoint just over to our left here. So we're gonna go and loot this building here as well. And even probably farther back too, because we do have a lot of space to, uh, to put stuff in. Might as well take advantage of that. Sodium. Is that a stock? Probably not worth it. Get it back there. I'll check up top. Sometimes people miss stuff. So we're gonna check it all. Really, Scout? I never knew. Anything left in there? I'm noticing a pattern, but it's just not having anything left, so eh. I'll take the food, though. Is that a herring etch? Oh, no, it's salary. I was going to say if it was herring, herring etch, it's still pretty good. It's like 11,000 just for a small little can. Give that a little bit of intake of food. Yeah, it looks like people are dropping stuff in here. No computer parts. Let's see, we got an adapter down at the bottom. I always think those are real, but they're not real. Take you. Definitely coming in behind somebody, though, in their looting path. We can always ch check the computers outside, too. Did we get lucky for a GPU? I do hope. Cross your fingers. Maybe we get lucky. Oh, it hasn't been open. All right. That's a good sign. Definitely a really good sign there. Or or nothing. That shirt, we'll take that as well. Just nothing. Wires, they'll take for now. There's a couple of boxes in here, so we'll check for parts uh, for weapons. Or even just a weapon itself. There's also that possibility, too. I think I'm gonna take everything for the time being, just in case that we don't find anything extraordinary. But at least we'll have the loot that we can sell. Do you have anything I need that scav? Sometimes you have some really good stuff. Do you have a hat today? A simple hat. Nails. And bolts. Both good things. There is a crate up here, too. It didn't seem like anyone checked the first one, so I'm going to guess no one checked this one. Plus, these green crates, I really want to be checking because they do have a chance to spawn a like a red rebel. So I want to make sure I'm checking those as much as possible. Any map that I go, because if we can get a red rebel while we're scapping, not only would that be one, funny, but two, be really useful for the future. Another tech one here. Matches. Ooh, that will sell. And some more bolts. Looking good. Looking at the grenade kit. 
case. What do you got in the computers? Gotta have some ooh, sugar too. Okay. I know sugar doesn't sell very well, so we made him drop it. When I say it doesn't sell very well, it doesn't sell very well to like the traders. We will never get access, as far as I can tell, we're never gonna get access to the flea market as a scab. Because I was looking at that for a while there. There was a bit of a uh, time between the first raid and the second raid that I was just kind of messing around to see what would happen. And it turns out that we don't exactly get um, any of the daily quests which or weeklies, which is unfortunate until like later on. So as much as it, it's, it pains me to see that, at least I know it now versus like putting up hope that there's a chance that maybe we'll get something. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Trying to hide on me toolbox. I gotta check you, of course. Take the relay. I'm really just trying to replace any of the medical supplies that I'm not gonna take out with me. We got like four stashes we can check right now. So we'll check all those before we head out. I wish it was six minutes left. We got the time. Come over at the corner here. Skills, I'm sure, are looking pretty good. We'll take a look at at the end of the last raid and see if we're sitting. But I'm curious where we're at already. Someone's already looted it, but we'll check it anyway. A splint, I do not need. Someone's definitely gone through all these areas, so I'm gonna guess there's not gonna be much loot left, but we will We'll still kind of look through. We we'll need the bandages. We'll take the plug instead Considering the exit's literally right there. We have a few more spots we can check for loot. Ooh, we can also go see the sniper scab still up or not We got relay we got bolts. I think we're gonna replace These two with that Another part two. Is this can be attached to anything? Oh, I think it could actually attach some to this. Let's drop that. And let's also drop. I should drop the unknown key for now because it's a very easy one to get. I can attach that to you. Can't put this on anything. Okay. Check a few more spots. Nothing in the trunk. In there. Oh, we could check the car in the front of the checkpoint here. You know, maybe it's. Oh, I can't even take it. That's unfortunate. Well, I'll take the hat back then. My 900 rubles. I can't forget about those. Now, is there going to be a sniper scab over here? Is the question. Oh, there is, but you're still alive. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> I do believe that's going to be everything. Unfortunately, we didn't hear any players. We hear some shooting in like a far, far distance by like the red, uh, big red, but no, no action just yet with players. I have a feeling that when we head over on a scab over to say like Streets of Tarkov, we're most definitely going to run to a player. And even Streets of Tarkov would be a map, bad map to play with like a scope. Cause you can get up to some pretty high buildings too. Something to think about. Definitely something to think about. But I think we're gonna take our win. Get everything sold. And yeah. Oh, hold on. I'm leaving with an open space. Huh. Yeah, what am I doing? I'm going crazy here. Actually, the unknown key probably actually sells better than some of the stuff. We're gonna drop. Drop that, take that. Maybe I'll sell better. I don't know exactly if it will or not. We could take both. Yeah, we're fine. Always, if I, if I think about it too much, I'll be here all the way to the last minute. I'll be not good. Not bad whatsoever. Customs was really nice for us, and I don't believe we're going to have enough money just yet to get the scab case, but we'll run another one and see if we can get enough. I, I do believe we're going to get pretty close. And if we get close enough in the next one, we should be able to purchase it and get everything a little more organized. 
just one step closer to get all these things that we need for our PMC in the future. And it's uh, it's looking good. Definitely want to be looking out for some players to kill as well to get ready for some gear as well. My only concern is running into raiders. Because obviously someone's going to turn on the hermetic at some point if they're going to take that exit. And if that does happen, they will definitely try to kill us. So we we'll to be a little bit cautious about that. Although, if they do, they spawn in this direction over here. Uh, we're going for the AGS, which is in the corner over there. And we're bombing the heck out of them. That'll be fun. We're definitely going to need to upgrade on the uh, the gear. We're not exactly looking the best right now. Only be able to carry out a little bit of things. But we also need to get some more medical too. A little bit better. A little bit better medical at least. We don't need the craziest stuff, but... Definitely need to get something that's gonna be a little more robust. Robust? Yeah, I'd say robust. We're going with, ro with robust. Is there gonna be dead bodies though? That's the question. I've had a few times though where I've come to reserve and there's been no dead bodies to loot as a scab. So, knock on wood, we're not gonna have that problem. However, if I can find a sail walk, we'll be in good shape for any fights, hopefully. And I want to fight. Where are the, the PMCs at? They've got to be somewhere. They're just hiding things. This is the perfect map, too, for getting our food up. Or getting everything up like that. That's going to be really useful, actually. Coming to, coming to reserve. Munch on all the food. Get the metabolism up. We'll be looking really, really good on that. Don't need the measuring tape right now. But like I said, we need to get... At least some stable stuff to help with other bleeds and a bunch of healing. Nothing there. Okay. Nothing clear. Oh, I didn't check the middle one. Okay, nothing there. We got some shots over in the distance. I also have to remember this is also a Shunborn Heaven map, so people could be in the towers as well. I need to be a little bit cautious about that. Nothing there, nothing on the table. Door's not open over here, so maybe, maybe we get lucky. Doesn't look like it. Darn. Maybe the basement will hold some for us. Got some juice, pineapple juice. This is, this actually has some food in it, doesn't it? In the kitchen, maybe? We'll check the kitchen as well. We have no intelligence folder. I know the intelligence folder spawns there, but I rarely ever see it. I feel like once in a while you'll see it. Nothing there. We'll check the kitchen. Hey, there's the Tashanka. We're gonna need that for later. PRS rounds. The bane of my existence is that round. Maybe some BS will come around, and, or BP, or even BT. I'll take all three types hey. almost nailed it I guess somebody's shooting the relay for now Got some dead bodies. That's a scav. Before we try to do any fighting, let's see if there's any medical in here. Get the splint for now. You are just a dead scav, okay. I need the shells though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna loot the shells real quick because you only have ten shots. In total, looks like. Go that. A little bit of an upgrade, not the best. All right, I saw the scab. I'm gonna guess you're. It was an AI scab. Ooh, that's S and B. Good ammo for the future. But yeah, we did. We definitely saw a scab, so I'm gonna guess it was a, 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 an AI one because he's not around anymore. Okay, so there's no medical, no extra loot there. I'm gonna check the 
the crate over here and then we're gonna go see what the heck's going on with all the shooting it sounds like in the school we're gonna go and see about fighting them Ooh, no 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 I want that flashbang they'll actually help us there we go Let's see if there's anything gonna be good here for us yeah we'll take it all Drink it up, drink it up, get the metabolism up a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. I am curious though. Who is shooting right now? Could be just some scabs of shooting, but I want to say there's probably going to be some players over there. They're shooting all around there. There's like everywhere is getting people shooting. So there's definitely some action going on right now. T ammo. Now we're good. But the shooting that I'm hearing is definitely coming from the school. Okay, let's take the top approach. Nope, don't fall. Oh, I fell. All right. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> Not fall. Where you at? I'm hearing all this shooting, you've got to be around here somewhere. Oh, door's closed. Oh. Just a tiny bit suspicious. at the door I mean, that could be a scav. Could do a little bit of a voice line, see if anyone talks back to me. Drop the pineapple. Okay, you've got this gun, but where is your ammo? Oh, you were using the... You were using the snub nose, man. Oh, no, you weren't. You were using that. Oh. Gross. What the? All right. Well, let's do this. Let's swap this out. Put that there. That's not going to work. Is it going to work? Oh, that's... Why would it say it can work in there? Oh, no way. I was going to say, there's, there's no way. Well, this gun's completely useless now. <laughs> well, we're just not going to talk about that. Uh, yeah, Xenon actually sells pretty good. We'll check down here. I think I see something on the side here. Oh, it's a broken one. Uh, anything else? Okay, I have room now, so we'll just take the CPU fan for now. We got two broken ones. They actually sell decently. So I'll be taking it wouldn't be horrible for now. We'll take it for now, then maybe we'll find something better. Just a bunch of scabs. Ow. Just hurting myself. That's what I do. We got the hole in the wall, which we're near our exit, which is good, which is good. Still want to see about finding a bigger dead body. Actually, did he have a bigger backpack? I didn't even actually look to see if he had a bigger backpack than I did. 
we shall investigate. Because if we did, I guess it was another dead player too. Oh, there's two dead scavs. Did he bleed out then? There's a chance he did bleed out. Uh, actually, because I know someone's going to say something if I don't do it this way. I think that's worth it. It's three, six, nine, twelve. So it's the same, but we do get a little bit more profit with the duffel bag. Not a ton. Okay, that's way too much food. I think this will suffice for the time being. The rig may be the better way to go. Let's take a look at the rig real quick. So you got a shotgun. No flashlight on it. Three, six, nine, two. Actually, this is a way better option. We're going to go with that option instead. You don't have a backpack. Oh, you do have a backpack. We'll do two things at once then. Toss all this stuff in here. Including that. Drop the duffel. Like that. I could take the duffel. I could stack on stack on stack. <laughs> Why not? We'll do that. We'll just stack on stack. And I don't think you actually had a backpack. No, you did not. I wonder if there's going to be any dead bodies below us. There are some containers down below where all the food's at. So I'm wondering if maybe someone was killed down there. Because the lack of dead bodies is a little confusing. Especially on reserve. It is very confusing a lot of times. Ooh, I will take that. Thank you. Some decent little money making right there. We got one spot left. Might as well just toss that right in there. Got nothing in there. I think there's one more toolbox in here. There is indeed. I gotta get some for the energy. Energy's kind of low on this one. Very nice and very nice. That's that's actually a huge money making right there for us. We'll need the PGW for later, but that makes us some pretty good money right there. Let's eat this hump back here, actually. Get this on back and then we'll check out the other side. I'm not opposed to taking the food. Food actually can make some, some decent money. Like as long as it's like Tashanka or it's like herring, they sell for like 10,000 each. So it's a good like single slot item. So we'll definitely be taking those. Especially for like all these random items here that I'm not going to end up keeping. Squash also sells good. Well since that player's dead, I don't need that anymore. Everything's looking fine. Well, okay then. <laughs> the game's just like, hey, you, you want stuff, right? I can give you stuff if you want it. Do that. Toss those down there. Interesting. <laughs> that is interesting to say the least. I have to say though, it is it is early in the day, so there is a very high chance we're just not seeing players because of that. Like it's for me, it's like eight o'clock in the morning, so there's a very high chance just because because of that, there's just no one around. Uh, we'll drop the seven mil, and we'll drop that into there. Heck tape. Oh, there's the Bromit too. I didn't even see the Bromit. Ooh, that's a hard one. We'll drink this up. We're going to drop. Which I mean, have to, no, I do have to drop some. I have to drop that. Take that. Oh, I forgot that can go on there. Cool. Opens up another slot for us. Do I have anything else I can go on parts? Doesn't look like it. Okay. We got a double spot left. And then that's it. Got some night vision out of it. I got another gun. I think that can actually go on it. Can it not? Oh, it can't. Although, I do believe it sells better. So we'll take it nonetheless. Yeah, we're good, bro. We're good, bro. Oh, that dude found something. 
<laughs> All right, I think that's gonna be good. Like if I have one more single item, that'd be nice, but I think I'm gonna stick with that. We'll check this other building out real quick. What do we got? What's ammo in here? Nothing that I want, so we'll take that instead. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take the little, the wind right there. Take all that stuff. Let's get the heck out of here. We can use the hole in the wall by the mountain. I'm thinking one more raid, and we will have that scab junk box. And then we can uh, we can sort of start prioritizing items they want to keep instead of having to sell everything. The nice thing about this is though, is that once we get the box and we start selling certain items to different traders, we'll at least have the money sold to the traders so when we get to the PMC stage which is very far away but when that does happen we don't have to worry about the the actual money like selling portion we don't have to worry about getting the rep with it with the tasks which would be quite nice that was actually a very successful reserve rate and I'm very happy about that should we, we probably should have enough money now to get the scab case but we'll get everything sold on top of that I think we're gonna run one more raid as well so I want to see if I can get a few more items collected and maybe a bag or two or even some more rigs to be ready for the future because we have a lot of items we're going to definitely need to be collecting. Obviously not everything is going to be able to go into the scab case so that's the other thing that I have to be a little more cautious or more mindful of. On top of that I want to just keep going because it's just I'm having so much fun with the series and it's been like I said a long time coming and it's definitely something that I want to push out as much as possible with a little more quality than I normally do with, say, like the Ride Rich the series. So, we're going to get this place organized, get everything set up, and let's get back out for the last raid and see what we can come up with. We actually got a decent scab, too. We got a 133 shock, which we need for a turn in. We got a pack, of, or not pack, of, we have a pilgrim, which we're going to need to, and, uh, well, I technically do have a pack of. But we got a lot of nice room, which can be really good for this raid. Figure it and change. It's not going to the same map twice in a row, but definitely a good place to come, especially with like the amount of room that we got to loot with. And I also figured, well, we have a shotgun. We have to find a, a map that's gonna be worth our time to actually go to. Here's a scab on the other side. We're just gonna loot up everything we can possibly get. Now that we've got a scab box. And of course we need to look for items that will sell for a decent amount of money. Because the more I can get, the better. I'd hope to get by at least, I want to say at least by episode, episode three, I want to have, I want to have at least two scab boxes. I think it's definitely doable. We have to grab so much loot, it's not going to be funny, but we need to just get as much as we could possibly carry and just keep going and going and going. It seems like the back side of this has already been cleared out. Not a huge deal. I'm going to go towards the front. I need to go over towards the shelving and see if I can find another gas analyzer. We technically speaking need two more. So we will look for at least two more of those. And while we're at it, is there anything else we can get our hands on? I mean, we need a lot of stuff. Considering that we, you know, we're not only looking for quest upgrades, we're also looking for hideout upgrades too. And well, we all already know you're gonna need a ton of items for hideout. And I say a ton, I mean a actual ton. Anything left on these shelves? It doesn't look like we got one of these. I feel like the tubes are always a good option to go for. I always sell for, you know, I think it's like 11,000 rubles. And especially if I can't find anything else, I'll always take them. Anything there. I wouldn't mind for a bigger rig. That's the only thing that I think we can upgrade that's going to be decently okay. And of course, if we can find better armor. We got something going on over here. I have to remember, I have a shotgun. I have nothing else. Doesn't look like we're gonna get lucky enough. Nope, nothing else. 
It could be upstairs. Not gonna push it just yet, just yet. I'm gonna wait and see if they keep going off and blowing up against each other. Take that. Got somebody running. Someone's got a rifle. Not the smartest fight to take. We're going to push back. And the consideration that we have a shotgun, I don't think it's worth the fight. But someone's going hard. With a pistol. Good luck to you, scab brethren. I'm pretty sure it's a scab shooting that gun off, so good luck to you, man. I believe in you. We are gonna go look for graphics cards. Because if anything, graphics cards are gonna take me the longest to find. Unless I get super, super lucky and find them like right off the bat, like in one of the tech stores when we go loot. That's the only time I think we're gonna get lucky. Take the peas. Anything else? All right, not bad. Bunch of wires, which is good. Which means, basically, when we get to the hideout stage, we can get the upgrades right away. And technically, like, I was thinking about this, too, in between raids. We can actually work on the hideout as a scav to a certain point. And then it becomes an issue of levels, and then we won't be able to do it past that. But, until we run into that issue, we, we might as well upgrade what we can. I mean, we're going to have all all this loot anyway, just sitting around basically doing nothing if, while we're collecting and getting ready for the PMC. We might as well slowly start doing stuff that we can. I mean, it's not, nothing crazy that's going to happen as far as, like, let's just say we can't actually do, like, Intelligence Center, which... It's unfortunate. Well, actually, we may be able to get to the intelligence. Center. We'll look into that, actually. I, I'm saying this, but then I'm also thinking to myself, there actually may be a chance we could get to that. We're, we're going to look into because if we, if we can actually get to the intelligence, that will help us out so much. Just due to the fact that right now, I, I, I take so long to get to the next raid. It's like 25 minutes in between raids. That I have to wait. Granted, it lets me go do other things for videos and whatnot, but I definitely think I'm going to do some research on that. We'll need an intelligence folder, but hey, we could find an intelligence folder as a scab. I've done before. Filing cabinets are a thing for us. Drop that single round that doesn't matter. I'll take the cord. Paid. Uh, well, no, I'm not gonna take the paid. It'll get us a sale while, but we don't need any sale laws, obviously, right now. And we'll find mill graphics card. All right, that's that's good. Matches. Well, one of many that we need to collect. All right, change of plans a little bit. We're going to go on the back side of the mall. I'm not leaving until we have a full bag, though. Even though we have ourselves a good item, we're not leaving anytime soon. Grab the iceberg, or ice, iceberg, ice cream. Drink that up. But we'll go with the back side of the mall. We'll start collecting this later. What I am going to look at, since we are going to just do some hideout stuff, we're going to go look at locating a, a sledgehammer. Because if we can find a sledgehammer, we can get the wall started. We'll start breaking that down. I'm going to debate on fuses, because technically in the future, fuses will come in handy. Because we'll be able to get a bunch of grenades with them. I think that's below us, I'm hearing. I 
definitely hearing somebody. Whether it's a player or scab, I do not know. It seems a little bit loaded already. Toss out a voice line out there once in a while. I only do that because some some players still oh, there's a sledgehammer I need. There's still some players that don't have their actual voice lines hooked up yet. Like not voice line, but um they don't they don't have their What's the word I'm looking for? They don't have their voice set up. So they can't even hear me even if I were to talk in game. So I do the voice line just in case. Is I'm sure we've all had that moment where we're coming around the corner and we don't know whether or not it's a player or scab and Well, I've been shot in the face a lot. <laughs> we don't need that. Luckily he didn't shoot, which is good. Well, he's already going through this section, but we'll come behind. Maybe he missed a couple things. People will do that. You'd be surprised how many times people like literally okay, well. Case in point. <laughs> Get a Zippo and Deputy Forty. Okay. Again, I'll probably try to get as much as I can to even replace the uh, the ammo. I don't know if buckwheat's worth taking or not. I'll have to, I'll have to look at the trade and see if there's any good trades for the buckwheat. Because they won't typically. Grab it. I don't think it's really much of a worth of an, of an item to grab. Ooh, we'll need you for item upgrades. So we'll sell you. We'll need you as well, elite pliers. Another sledgy, but I'm not gonna grab it. it sells for like eighty thousand, but oh. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80, 90, no. You're losing about roughly about twenty thousand. You're missing. I don't want to miss out on the opportunity. All right, let's try to get some food in. We'll check the skills afterwards. See where we're at. Got the extra ammo. This may come to kick me in the butt later, but for now. We're just gonna drink it up. Drink it up and eat it. I think that's a Tashanka. I'm gonna grab all the Tashankas here too. Because again, I need Tashankas for the future and I need 15 exactly. So I'm gonna grab every one of them. Grab the Sprats. How are we looking right now? We're level four, wow. So far so good. Tablism about to get leveled up again. 37.2 although I think we're gonna have to wait until next run to actually get it leveled up I need those croutons as well so we're gonna drop matches I need those and I saw another crouton over here yeah I need that one as well drop the spark plug drop that now we also do have the option that we can Slowly start grabbing stuff for some other tasks too. They're over here, like or not tasks, but with like the the cooler. We can we can get the cooler as well. Anything that I have on me that's not worth. Drop the CPU fan. Squatch actually sells more, which is kind of nuts. Thirty-seven point two. I'm just gonna. I'm actually gonna. Eat one more thing. We're gonna eat a cat. Take that. Eat that cap as well. Or I'll get rid of for now since we're getting a bunch of wires anyway. I wanna see how far I can push the metabolism. 38? Hey, you know what? We'd be able to get the next metabolism level. Granted, if we just come into another match and just drink a couple things, we'll probably get it too, but. I think we're gonna try to get it all. Gonna hold on to that for a second. 
salary. I don't know if this will actually count or not. Didn't look like it counted. All right, well, that solidifies my answer on that one. So to Shanka. Oh, it's humpback. All right, three more items and we can call it good. Hey, Tashanka. Light bulb, I'll take as well. Nothing there. All right, it's time to head to the exit. And grab one single item, hopefully from this weapon box or not. No big deal, we'll keep moving. Hey, we're gonna get out of here. Pick our victory items. And collect, collect, collect. I'm excited though, when we get our first sniper rifle, like with a, with a proper scope and everything, we're going straight for the rogues. And I am very excited for that. I think we could get some pretty, pretty cool stuff out of that. Yeah, so. But it comes down to the, you know, the luck. It comes down to the luck and see what we get. Because all that, I guess, mostly RNG. Because it, all the, it's all randomly generated what kind of scam we get anyway. So I say, like, I'm excited for it. But I may never actually get the one that I probably want. But hey, we'll keep an eye for it. Dead scab, I'll take your gun. Yeah, nothing else on you. I think it's another dead scab over there. I have to be slightly careful because I am getting, you know, down to the, the wire where players are probably going to be exiting as well. I'll take your hat. Shotgun, not gonna worry about it. Ooh, let's go check the box over here. There's an, is an Iskra. I need to start collecting Iskras as well. You need, I believe it's two or three of them. So we're gonna grab those as well. Because they do have to be found in raid. Like I said, most of my focus is gonna be on found in raid items. So if it's something that we can buy in the flea market in the future, well, we'll obviously go with that option. This makes more sense than wasting our time and grabbing something we don't need. We got a hat. We got another hat. We're gonna drop one of the wires for that. For that part, not the hat. Although I think the hat sells for more, so I actually am gonna grab the hat as well. Into the exit we go. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, before we actually go, we are going to go to the hideout first. I know there's some upgrades we can do. So obviously we can do the What's this give us? It gives additional raid XP. Okay, we'll do this. We'll get that upgraded. We can also get the vents upgrade, which is just money. So we'll get that one installed. All right. And of course, there's a lot of items we need to start collecting. Medical supplies, I just gotta start looking for those. Heating, I need to grab two of the matches. Easy peasy. You'd find three matches in total, actually. I stand corrected, three matches. And then we just need to buy one of these guys, which I believe we just have to get euros. We can actually start working. Okay, we'll start grabbing these these three then, since we're gonna start slowly working on the hideout. Illumination. I also need to just get a lighter. Easy items so that we can start collecting. And then we need one tape. All right, let's get everything sold real quick. A lot of different items that I'm not gonna be keeping. Oh, there's some that we are actually gonna keep. Like we're gonna do yeah, I pretty much sold this stuff. Sold that, sold that. We'll keep the backpack, obviously, because we need that for a quest down the line. So what we can do is, since we need to do that anyway, we can put some of this stuff away inside here. Keep the fuel for later. Graphics card for later. Wires, we'll use those for upgrades. Bolts, all that. This will get sold. Put that down there. We can sell this plus all the other extra food to Tashanka, however. 
put the Tushank over here. We've got enough space for that. One, two, three. Sell that, save that, save that. I need, we need one more crouton. We'll look at the quest, of course, again. Save this for the upgrades. We can sell the elite pliers for now. We'll need to get some more in the future, but we can only sell them for now for the profit. Save those, sell that. Shotgun, we need to save, of course. I'm gonna save this part. We'll, we'll use that for later on when the PMC is ready to go. Sell that, sell that. I'll have to repair this, I think. Actually, it should be good. I think. What's it at right now? Oh no, that's definitely not sellable. Let's get let's get a small repair in. Just a small one. Sell so this, of course. This is not going to be our biggest haul in the world, but we'll at least make some money out of this. This is going to go all the way to therapist. Get all of you sold. I'm going to go over to mechanic. Boom. Now let's go look at mechanics. I know you get this part. I need. Oh, it's rubles. How do I remember? No, it's the cameras. That's right. The cameras are the ones. That's the weird one. Let me go with hideout. Go to the workbench. Get you upgraded. I believe that's all I can upgrade right now. Because I still gotta find out this stuff. But the workbench is really good. Very, very good. Because I can slowly start grabbing items and start crafting things. Yeah, this is definitely something I'm gonna have to start doing. Like, like I don't think these. This will never be a good one for us. But there's stuff like you know the wires we can do. I can definitely do stuff like the wires. Even like slowly start working towards the, the grenades, just grabbing and stuff periodically. Even Magnum Buck. This will actually be a very. This will become very handy for us for later on. A shot contest in the future. But we'll have to wait until. Oh, look at that. We got level one management on this on the hideout. That's all gonna be left for the future, of course. And of course, we gotta sell that knife, because why would I have that knife on me? There we go. And right now, we're at 0.24 on the scav, a uh, scav uh, carnal, which is good. That's really, really good. I just wish I could do tasks. At least, at least the tasks for the scavs. That would be a very nice little feature, but let's see. Maybe in the future, we'll be able to do that. Let's do a, another refresh of that which of course it never does actually good actually an actual good job which bothers the heck out of me but that's neither here nor there this is gonna bother the heck out of me there we go i will take that instead not bad whatsoever ladies and gentlemen that is our haul for this episode i have to say overall not a bad haul whatsoever we also of course got the money we got 353,000 rubles so still left over but we are looking good for the future okay we gotta do a sort Sorting is going to bother me if we don't. But yeah, overall, I would say pretty darn good haul. And we're going to leave that at that. So, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the first episode of the Scav Only series, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode, what you're excited about for the future. If you haven't yet, subscribe, ding the notification bell. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you in the next one on the Scav Only series.